Hello there. It's that time again for you to call in and talk to me directly. This is a delicate balance. And we're talking about spirituality and things that help us get through each day, each week, each month, each year, our whole lives. And there might be something you've experienced that's helped you. We'd like for you to call in and let us know about it. Or if you have a question about something, anything, I'll see if I can help you out with it. Uh, I'm a Christian, so my perspective comes from um, believing in Christ. But we're open to hearing what anybody might have to say in the community because we are trying to strike that delicate balance between the public and private and open up communication and dialogue where there usually isn't any. Like, for instance, between Democrats and Republicans. Each label each other as the enemy. They don't talk to each other. They talk at each other. Christians don't talk to non-Christians. They talk about each other or at each other. Uh, that type of thing. So we're trying to put a good face on religion and spirituality and um, give you an opportunity to express your view, get the respect you deserve. And um, if you don't call in, it's just going to be me and Jesus. So <laughs> that's how it's going to be. So I was thinking about, um, you know, I was watching the, the opening um, credits there. Um, someone put that together for me, did a nice job with it. But I was thinking about how difficult it is and what an enormous challenge it is to really strike that delicate balance when you have so many people of different faiths and different traditions that go back, you know, for generations and people without any you know necessary faith uh, position and how it is that we can keep this globe afloat and just based on the way things seem to be happening um, it seems like a delicate balance uh, hasn't really been sought too often and sometimes there's too much you know imposition of will from one perspective on another and usually when that happens that results in some sort of violence and you know I know people say this all the time that you know uh, the, the wars and the history of the world are often rooted in religion and, you know how how hypocritical is that Hello. I mean, I certainly couldn't imagine Jesus saying, you know, bomb them. Yeah. Well, they're, they're not treating their people right. Invade them. Exactly. I just don't see Jesus doing that. Maybe your particular idea of Jesus uh, would do that. If so, call up. We'd like to hear about that. Um... <laughs> That we wouldn't. So, I've been doing the show for uh, almost 11 years now. Um, actually, no, almost 12 years now. Um, and it all got started because I was in a Christian fundamentalist church, left that, and was so disillusioned by the leadership and the structure of the church that I felt like, To be honest, uh, a good witness of what I was experiencing, I needed to get out and share that because I didn't see it on TV. I didn't really necessarily see books being written about it. So I just started doing this show. And it's gone through its uh, uh, phases. <laughs> uh, but, um, you know, it started with, you know, a real cautiousness in accepting uh, traditional Christianity, fundamentalist Christianity, 
then it branched into sort of seeing uh, the same kind of danger that happens in, you know, a small church where a pastor might exert too much pressure on uh, the people in the church. To me, I started to see patterns of how when people perceive themselves as having a particular enlightened view, then they end up um, either imposing that on others in some kind of unhealthy way, or at the very least, identifying as anyone who's not like them as being uh, a threat and so to me it was sort of like a major red flag you know how could if if your faith is anything valuable and you have a, a good idea of what it means to be spiritual then how could you um, create so many divisions hierarchical ones at that. Yeah, baby. And I, you know, you could see it in all walks of life. You know, whenever you label a particular perspective, um, you start creating categories and kind of distancing yourself from things that you, you think are um, dangerous. Or you think they're dangerous, you start criticizing them, you're separating yourself from your friends, your family members, you know, political parties are divided. Um, marriages are divided, friendships are divided, nations are divided, all over, you know, having of the, uh, a preferred position on the truth, so to speak. Now, um, someone brought to my attention uh, a year or two ago that, you know, well, if I'm a Christian, me, you know, Christianity is by definition exclusive, then aren't I a part of that problem as well? Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm part of the problem. Um, but the difference with me is I don't see Christ um, creating that division the way traditional Christianity or traditional fundamentalist Christianity does. Um, like, you know, if you look at uh, TV preachers, there's, you, you hear a lot of, you know, you know, we're the forgiven, and if you're not a Christian, well, then you're just a sinner. But we're forgiven. And sort of, you know, that sort of exclusive, uh, preferential kind of mindset, I just don't see as Christian. Um, yes, I think it's... Uh, the best access to God and the presence of God is through the Savior of the world. Um, but I don't disrespect Buddhists or Taoists or Jews or Muslims or atheists or agnostics, especially if their lives are characterized by treating people well and serving others and, and putting others before themselves, you know, and being careful what they say is, is, you know, so that they don't hurt others. I mean, that's really what, you know, a lot of the, I think, religions have in common. So to me, it's, it's important that we recognize that, respect that in each other, and for that to be sort of our public expression of our gift to each other, that respect of each other's position and that privately we can believe all kinds of different things you know it's, it shouldn't matter that you know I might believe that the world you know may be coming to an end shortly in the return of Jesus I'm using that as 
I'm using that as an example. Um, it shouldn't matter that I believe that. I don't need you to believe that. But no matter what you believe in your particular faith or non-faith, we could come together and join hands, so to speak, in pursuing global peace by being respectful to different cultures.